My name is James Durkee, and I am the principal of Visitation Valley Middle School. When I arrived at this school 13 years ago, it had the highest uh, absenteeism rate, the highest suspension rate, the highest teacher turnover rate, the lowest academic achievement rate. We had a second highest crime rate in San Francisco and about 85% of the kids were from homes of poverty. Kids didn't play outside. They didn't go anywhere on the weekends. Um, they were kind of prisoners of their environment. I had heard about meditation early in my career as a special educator. I had seen it in operation on a one-to-one -one basis. When I first went downtown to tell people that this is what we wanted to do, they looked at me funny and said, oh, really? I said, we really have nothing to lose here by trying this. We've tried everything else. We've spent a ton of money through Title I programs, all these different programs on trying to, to have an impact on student achievement. I said, I will have the support of the parents. My faculty uh, voted 99 to 1 to do it. Let's see if it works. All right, class, we're ready. Quiet time starts now. The idea of kids having a little time out from everything lets them erase uh, all the things on their frontal lobe. The brain is much calmer. So naturally, you're able to absorb a lot more of your academics. That 20 minutes or 15 minutes morning and night is enough to make the difference where when you actually have a 40 minute class, there's quiet, there's focus concentration and joyful learning. Researchers who have studied the brain as it relates to education over the last 30 years have concluded that the optimal internal environment for learning is relaxed alertness. That is, you're calm, you're alert and awake. When you live in tough neighborhoods and there's gunshots and things happening all around you, you feel like you don't have control over anything. Students are calmer and more focused because we're actually un addressing and unpacking that stress. When you meditate, it keeps you calm, like takes out all your troubles. So I pay more attention. It makes me feel like like I actually my my uh, the person inside of me actually came out and and showed itself. A little under a year later, I went back to the school and walked around and, and you could start seeing the tone had changed. People weren't yelling at each other anymore. It was just the sense of, of having quiet in a school. I think most superintendents and educators that I talk with about the Quiet Time program are jealous. I show them the data, they just sit there and go, wow. The problem is that we let our own personal biases get in the way of what really works. And I always tell people, you know, I don't care what you think and you shouldn't care what I think. Uh, the fact is the data. The data is an opinion, it's fact. And when you start looking at the program from a fact point of view, it, it, it catches your attention. Not only was I happily surprised, but it wasn't that big of an effort or a big of a change uh, to include this into the everyday life of this the school. You know, we, you know, we didn't have to go out and build a new bridge or uh, you know take a trip to the moon or anything. Here 
Here we go. Let's begin. Quiet time. Quiet time is part of the school transformation process at Burton High School. In my first three years as the principal of Burton High School, we were like the second or third highest suspending school in San Francisco. But just a year and a half after we've started the Quiet Time initiative at Burton High School, we have literally halved our suspension rate. Teaching at an inner school is not just teaching. You're a therapist, you're a friend, you're a mentor, you're a counselor, you're all of those things. And because of that, we deal with a lot of stress too. My first two years, I lost 19 out of 36 teachers, which is over half the staff. Meditation has been an amazing way for me to deal with some of that stuff and help keep myself focused and, and, and stay energized for the day. Since we started Quiet Time, the only people that I've lost are people that retired or got promoted. People will say, well, aren't you wasting time? No, you're not wasting time. You're using, using time more productively. Even though there's slightly fewer instructional minutes, you get more bang for your buck because students are more prepared to learn. I would never want an administrator or a teacher to say, all I have to do is quiet time and I'm done. I think it's one among many tools that a good administrator and teacher would want to use for their school. You have to invest the money, you have to invest the time and the people to make this thing work. But the outcomes are really tremendous. You feel more relaxed, you feel more productive, you feel more focused, you feel like, like you can do just about anything.